shoulders. So Hande Geese then, he knows just what's going to happen here if he lets Inui get two hands on him. There's the two hands. And Van der Geest cannot stay still. Oh, he rode that beautifully. Yuko scored there to Van der Geest. He turned that against Inui absolutely brilliantly. And he was lucky there. It wasn't more. So now Inui's got it all to do. Oh, it's Gary from Inui. And Van der Geest is in the driving seat and he can't do that too much. So now what's going to happen here now? So we know he's got the leg trapped. Van de Geest doing very well to keep that foot there. If I knew he gets the foot out, it's Osai Komi. And look at Van de Geest there, using his hand as well to keep that foot in. And the foot's out and it's back in again. Brilliant stuff. Van de Geest did so well. So anything can happen. And the Nui still looking for the big one. Oh! Yuko scored there, Van de Geest. And Anui is going to pieces. It's not going his way. And he's going to pieces. And Van der Geest has taken advantage. So high over the top all the time. Looking for the high grip. Anui. Going forward. Uchimata. Oh, Yuko scored. And bear in mind that the last time he did this, he absolutely polaxed Van der Geest. He killed him. But Van der Geest has done his homework. So he's saying, just hold off now. You don't have to go forward. Just hold off. Because he knew he's got it all to do. Oh, unbelievable. Drops in, Aggie. And Elko van der Geest has thrown the favourite. And probably one of the best judo cup ever for Ippon in this Olympic tournament. And the Japanese are in shock. They cannot believe it. He's pushing forward. And he doesn't look to me as if his mind or heart was in it. Van der Geest drops right the way underneath and plants him, plants him onto his back. So the winner, Van der 